Alrighty, so this is what I'm up to. I needed a break from the garden. My body has been kicked. Um, I've had a lot of sun, and so it was time to just retreat inside today. My sister, she's an adopted sister. Um, she has been one of my longest friends and part of my family. Her birthday is coming up tomorrow. And um, I got this puzzle uh, because her and her son have been on a puzzle kick for a while now. And so I went to the dollar store and I bought this puzzle, which does not look like this. This is what it actually looks like. Um, which doesn't really matter because I painted it. <laughs> I put it together and I painted it. Some of her favorite things are ducks, cats, ladybugs, and anything teeny tiny. And so I'm sketching out this baby duck, and I think I'm going to work a ladybug onto a flower or something here. Um, and I'm going to paint this and attempt to cut the lines back out, package it again, paint this box, and um, give it to her for her birthday. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I don't know if I want to actually have a picture of what's in there because it's only 48 pieces. I think I want to just leave it as she needs to just try and figure it out so that it's kind of tough. Um, she was talking about possibly getting this clear puzzle for Christmas this year. And so this could be my take on that and that um, she doesn't know what's going to be on it. And she's got to try and put it together and figure it out. So, anyway, I'm excited with how it's turning out already. And hopefully I can get it done tonight um, and possibly tomorrow. Um, I probably won't be able to see her until the end of the week. I'm not sure if she's back to work or not. Um, but anyway, we will see how this turns out. I'll give you guys an update in a little bit. So here's the progress so far. Well, I guess... Here's the progress, because I'm not going to do anything else to it. I could sit and keep tweaking and tweaking and not liking it and keep doing more and more work to it, and I just need to leave it alone. For my first attempt, I like it. I like the process. Um, I learned a lot for trying this. Um, I already took it apart and put it back together. I let it dry for a little bit and put it back together. And so now I'm going to pop it apart and go put a clear coat on it. I still have a couple more layers to paint on the box here to cover what was underneath it, but I'm just going to put some little of these little white dots on the front of this and then just write her name. And that way she knows how many pieces are in it. Um, I left the cute little things under here. I got to paint in between them, but um, and then I have the back to do. But I'll clear coat that too. And um, her gift is done. So um, it was fun. I definitely. Uh, I was struggling with colors. It was too late at night, and it didn't come out as realistic as I had hoped. Um, but like I said, for a first attempt and for not being able to spend um, a whole week working on it like I wanted, um, I'm happy with what it came out with. And I hope she will feel loved and enjoy it. Um, and um, happy birthday. So... <laughs> I will go clear coat it now and then I will show you what it looks like when it's all packaged up and how cute it is. So thanks for watching guys. I appreciate you following my journey and um, sharing in this little adventure. So. the friend that I made the puzzle for for her birthday our birthdays are like a week week and a half apart and this is what she got me for my birthday she knows my heart I don't know if you guys can see I'm the greatest but oh my gosh they're so stinking hilarious it's a mouse and a cowboy ant and the dragonfly, the 
dragonfly and the caterpillar are my favorite. Oh, I love them. One of the best gifts ever. Oh, I love it. It's in here with Antiochus that Cheryl got me. So, my Allie loves me. My Cheryl loves me. They know my heart. They know how to make a girl feel so spoiled. I'm so thankful for how my friends spoil me and remember me and think about me. Um, when you have somebody that takes the time to um, stay involved in your life, they're a treasure. And that's one thing I've learned in life is that um, friends are treasures. And so I don't take them for granted. And I appreciate the people that God has brought into my life. I am so thankful for how they have enriched my life and how they grow me. And, and they make me strong. And then they help me through the things that are hard. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.